So in this session, we'll go ahead with the simple ALV, very simple ALV. Uh, we'll see how the ALV reports work and uh, how do we do that. Let's do a very simple ALV, which will which can be completed in just five minutes. So we'll go ahead with the ALV report to display simple company code details. So we are going to have a very simple ALV report, which we can which we can discuss now. So we're creating the simple ALV report, very simple ALV report in fact. So wherein we just want to get the T001 and the company code details into a uh, into a, a, a C, uh, ALV program. So for that, we're going to go for T001 display. And this is a company code details. We have just have, can, we can just check the data here. Okay, so we want to display this into our uh, uh, our uh, ALV report. So for that, we are going to go for BUKRS BUTXT T01 LAN1. So we'll take a couple of fields from here. So we'll go ahead with a structure. First, we'll create a structure with these fields. So zst underscore t001 create structure. Company code details. Save. Just want to confirm if the data elements are the same. Okay. okay, so we just need to activate this. So we have created a structure now because we want to make use of this structure in our program. So let's let's uh, make use of this ZST underscore T0 zone. Let me write a very simple ALB. Let's see 38. So obviously this will be an executable program. The naming convention that you can follow is uh, Z followed by your employee code, employee code underscore uh, T001 ALV. Just click on create. So we are creating it for the company code details. And here we will not be writing any loop statement and all.
okay so i just lost the connectivity logging in again ALV report. Let me go details. We have this executable program. See. So we'll go back with data it underscore t001 or you need not it's it's not mandatory that you have to always give the table name you can also give something like it underscore company code right company code t, t company code t, t underscore I, t, c, 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 it underscore cc type send it up z st underscore what was that t001 i guess Okay, let me recheck that underscore cc type zst underscore cc so we'll double click on this yes so we do have this Okay, this is confirmed now what we'll do is we'll just simply write the select options s underscore bu caris what was the name of that field slash osc 11 So we have these fields. So let me copy this. You get it as a company code. Let's send this code B U Caris. Sir W underscore C C hyphen B U Caris. Select these fields from t001 into table it underscore cc where um, bu caris bu caris bu caris in s underscore bu caris now once it's been done this is what we have so this is a normal select statement. After this, you don't have to write the loop statement now. All that we need to do is we just need to simply call a function module. We need to just call a function module, and that function module needs to be here. ZST underscore T001. So after this, instead of writing the loop statement, what we'll do is we will we will uh, add we will introduce a function module called reuse underscore alv underscore grid underscore display. So this is a standard function module. We need to click on this pattern and give this. We just need to call that function model. That's a function model which will actually give us a display. So it's an SAP standard function model. 
so we need just need to uncomment this i exporting and then we need to give this um, the structure name is what we need to give here structure name will give it from here Yeah, this is a structure name the line number that is one just uncomment that and we'll go ahead with the structure name so we'll go with zst underscore zst underscore t001 so we just need to add this here yeah i think we are good with this Here we need to give the it underscore cc when we have the data. Structure name, we just need to keep it in the records only. Let's see the syntax sheet. So, this is a very simple, uh, you know, uh, program in which we have just passed the structure name and we have passed the internal table name into, into this reuse underscore element underscore read underscore display. Let's just go for this. 01 to 1000 execute and we'll get this data actually we have only few number of records for that range that i've given so let me give this as something like 9000 and execute so we'll get a lot of a lot of records now so we can just uh, move this records like this and we can do a lot of things we can do a lot of things in this which we'll do later this is a very simple uh, alv in which like we are just Passing the structure name and the internal table name. That's it. This is a simple yeah, simple help.